previously on Hell's Kitchen. Your time starts now. Let's go. The all-star chefs competed in a bar menu challenge to determine who would be safe from elimination. I'm making a shrimp and lobster sausage. I really want to show Chef Ramsey that I'm better than everyone here. This is Hell's Kitchen. It's go big or go home. After Chef Ramsey narrowed it down to four. The most outstanding bar dish belongs to Millie. Millie's seafood poutine won him safety on opening night and a place on the first ever Hell's Kitchen bar menu at the opening night dinner service. Come on, Josh, it's cured salmon. The blue team overcame Josh's slow start on appetizers. Two salmon, chef. Let's go. And in spite of an ailing Ben. Oh, shit, you okay? Who had a few bumps on the fish station. It's just ice fucking cold. The all-star men rallied around their ill teammate and delivered an impressive service. Let's put my seat. Good job, guys. Good recovery, man. In the red kitchen. Holy shit. Who cooked the salmon? Chef, I did. Manda floundered on the fish station. It's raw. How does that happen? I fucked up. And when Elise couldn't control the meat station. This is what I call a disaster. Get out. Fuck. Oh, shit. The red team nominated. Elise and Manda. But we're split on who should ultimately go home. Amanda. Elise. Amanda. Elise. It's because I'm a threat to her. But Chef Ramsey had another idea. Ben. I don't think you can go the distance. Oh my God. Ending Ben's dream of becoming the head chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Back in the dorms. I know I'm in the top four of the chefs on the women's team. Why are you getting an attitude with me? I'm not getting an attitude. Tensions quickly escalated between Robin and Elise. Jennifer cooked her three fucking lambs and every hey, strip came back. Why is this happening? You oh, like, I'm the boss. I'm the boss. At Elise, I'm the boss. I wasn't against you. I was trying to help you today. Nobody said you was you against me. I made a statement. Why are you so offended about my statement? Crazy and crazier at each other. I'm more motivated than ever. I'm the bounce back queen. I'm glad this motivates you. I'm glad, but we're a team. Why are you so offended? You're mad. Do you know why I'm getting mad? Because I know you talk shit behind my back saying I only had two fucking things to cook. No, and you had oh, oh, I'm sorry that I couldn't cook your strips because that's all you really cooked today. Are we going there? Like, no, you're going, going there. there. OK, good. You had a good dinner service. Way to bounce back after two shitty challenges. Thank you. That's right, because I'm the bounce back queen. I've been nothing but a team player since I stepped I foot in it. these doors. You just threw my face. OK. And said all I did was time Wellingtons. Are you kidding me? I did have all the other proteins assigned to me besides Wellington. Elise, you are a bitch. Oh, oh, hold up. Excuse me. Don't call me a bitch again. I don't know why the girls just can't get along. Ratchets. Ratchet girls. You have Wellingtons and I had everything else assigned That's to me. That's fine. OK. Go do you. <gasps> Go I'm do you. Saying. I Go can't. do you. Why are you so offended about my statement? My motivation is offensive to it's you. So, I was trying to help you today, but you had an attitude about it. Where's the alcohol? They're going in circles and circles, and nobody's getting anywhere. Like, shut up. If you want to see fucking Brooklyn come out, Sunset Park will come out. But I'm not about that this time. Robin. And she snapped out and said I wasn't a team player. Because you dished your fuck. Yo, OK, it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. Come on. It's enough. After an intense and draining second night in the dorms. I think I need some food. The chefs are up early, ready to refuel. Are you eating a chimichanga, is that what that is? Yeah. And tackle Chef Ramsay's next challenge. Line up, please. Rise and shine. Right, good morning. Good morning, morning chef. chef. How are you feeling? Great, Great chef. chef. Oh. Christ almighty. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Josh, what happened? I don't know, chef. Maybe a vitamins and a chimichanga. <laughs> vitamins and a chimichanga. Oh man, what a mess. <laughs> right, we, we good? Yeah, chef. Sorry about that. 
You know, they say like Super Bowl winning quarterbacks throw up in the huddle right before the big game and then win. So I might have something here. <laughs> Josh, now that you've tossed your cookies, what is the one quality that every talented chef must possess? It's important to have a great, great palate chef. Anybody else? Leadership. Imagination. All good answers. But at the core, a chef must be good with their hands. Agreed? Yes, yes chef. That is what today's challenge is all about. Before we get started, I'd like to provide a little inspiration. What this man can do with his hands is truly amazing. Matthew, come on out. What's it? Hello, young man. <laughs> You're so cute. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, this is Matthew, and he is a master at... Jockey, please. Cup stacking. Oh, cup. Trust me, I could go on about his speed, his skill, his dexterity. But, Matthew, why don't you show them? Holy shit. Yeah, literally, this thing is done in no time. What? <laughs> Williams. Were you watching closely? Not close enough. Jockey, Christina, please. Oh, God. <laughs> what I'd like is one chef from the blue team and one chef from the red team to stack an amazing tower. The chef that finishes first wins a big advantage for their team in today's challenge. Who's got fast hands? That's what I want to know. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't want to stack cups. And Michelle volunteers. I mean, she's the youngest. Maybe she's into that. I think I can do it. All right, let's do Jared. If an 11-year-old kid can do this, I definitely could do this. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, Michelle, let's go, let's race to the end. Come on, Jared. Let's go! Almost there, almost there. You got you gotta it. catch up. Right there. Right. Yeah. yeah! Come on, Jared! Jared, I feel bad for your girlfriend at home. You better work on your fingers, honey. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I got it. Hold on. Jared and his sausage fingers. Oh, fuck. Good thing that wasn't the whole challenge. I'd have been pretty upset. Fuck, that was terrible. Oh, boy. Congratulations. Michelle, you've just won your team a 30-second advantage in the next challenge. Thank you. Now, you'll be building a tower of a different kind. Something more up to your speed. This incredible seafood tower is made up of four tiers. On the first tier, we have six Santa Barbara spot prawns. Then we have two incredible lobsters. I have spent years in kitchens doing nothing but breaking down lobster for hours on end. I'm not worried about this. Bring it on. I got it. Tier number two. Oysters open beautifully for the third tier, razor clam. Alongside that, the Alaskan king crab. And then the fourth tier, manila clams and sea urchin with caviar on top. Magic, right? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. So, the first team to complete all four tiers of this incredible seafood tower wins. Now, clearly, an odd number of the blue team. That means one of you guys will go twice. Are you ready? Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. Go. In today's Seafood Tower Relay, the red team has a 30-second head start as they begin the first tier of their tower. Team one, get ready. And it's up to Ashley and Manda to get out of the gate fast. Going in the water. Ah! Preparing the prawns and lobster. This is a lot of pressure going first. We have to maintain that advantage on the blue team because we have to win this challenge. Hey, behind. Let's go, ladies. Three, go, boys. two, go. Now the blue team is relying on veterans Van and Gio to build the first tier and try to close the gap. Yeah, Van. All right, Gio, keep going. I feel pretty good with shellfish. I work at a, a seafood restaurant. Maybe I could get my team a jump start. All right, I'm gonna clean this. We're gonna start plates. Yeah, let's go. Let's go together. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Let's go. First, two, four, six, two, four claws. Sauce. No seaweed. Let's go, y'all. Take it back. Go get it. Bring it. Bring it back. This is our chance. We need it right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go look at that. Go, 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 go. Seaweed. T1 done. Go. Next, let's go. Go. Next. Come on, go. Go, 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 go. 
Right, we are done. Next pair, let's go. Go, go, go. Van and Giovanni have helped the men's team claw their way back and cut the women's lead in half. Team two's in, let's go. And both teams have moved on to shucking a dozen oysters for the second tier, pitting Michelle and Elise on the red team. Oh, fuck. Against Benjamin and Jared for the blue. Let's go. All right, they're coming up behind us, guys. Let's go. We need to get these oysters shocked, and I look over at Elise, and she's working on ice. Why am I the only person in our pair shucking all these oysters? No, they're not done. I need you to release them from okay. the, the shell for me. Where'd you get that shucker? It's in the, the thing right in front of you. Heard that. Benjamin and I start shucking oysters, but with oysters, you gotta be gentle. You gotta caress them like a beautiful woman. Oh, yeah. Just. There's no foreplay with this. You just slide it in there. Come on, baby. Flip it over. And so you get that beautiful plumpness on the other side. Ugh. My girlfriend's gonna be so mad. Hey, come on, ladies, we gotta go. One, two, three, four, five. We need another one. What? I swear I did enough, but I guess not. They're arguing. Fuck, man. See if you can get it before me. Go, go, go. Let's go, let's go, Nikki. Are they released from the shell? Yes, yes, yes. Great job, well done. Next, let's go. Damn it. Now the boys are ahead of us. Come on! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, good job. Let's go, let's go. With the blue team narrowly taking the lead. We're ahead right now. Motherfucker, that's hot. It's now up to season 14 rivals, Nick and Josh for the men, and Dana and Jennifer for the women, to prepare four razor clams and four king crab legs. You guys already lost your lead, let's go. I happen to work at a oyster bar that has seafood towers. So I'm gonna kill it and we're gonna be all set. Plate this up, slice this on the bias. Come on, Josh, come on, Nick. You gotta work faster, Josh, work faster. Oh. I'm hoping Josh just won't throw up during this challenge. There's chives and scallions, OK? No chives. Look, just make sure you're putting the right garnish on the right one. You don't want to fuck it. She's right. There is chives. There's minced chives. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They're almost done. Crab claws, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great job. Well done. Final tier. Come on, let's run it. Chives on there. Go, good job, let's go. As both teams start their final tier. Come on, guys, they're catching up. The blue team is clinging to a slight lead. Be careful opening them there. We chef. And it has all come down to Barbie and Robin. Get that uni on. Versus Millie and Benjamin. Give me a spoon. In a race to complete their towers by serving six manila clams and three sea urchin corals with caviar. Six clam chef, six clam chef. Millie, I want soft fingers. Right now, you know, we're in a race to the finish. I want to be in the last lap because I know I'm going to turn up. Let's go! Come on! Robin, plate that and walk to Barbie. We can't afford to lose again. We are relying on these girls to bring this home. They have to close that gap. One more clam, guys! Yeah! Let's go! Come on, they're catching up! They're catching up fast! Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Sea urchins, let's go. Let's go. Send it. Come on, send it. You got to get it right on the first try. That's the fucking key here. I'm going to pass out. Sea urchin, minute of clam. Missing something. In Chef Ramsay's Seafood Tower Relay. Ladies, come on. Both of the all-star teams are racing to be the first to prepare four tiers of shellfish. One more tier to go, girls. Well done. With the final round, neck and neck. Send it. Come on, send it. Millie and Benjamin are on their way to deliver what they hope will be the challenge-winning final tier. Sea urchins, let's go. Sea urchin, minute of clam. Chef Ramsay, please say this is right. One, two, three. Missing something. Two, four, six. Congratulations. <laughs> In your fucking face, girls. We may have lost the battle with the stupid fucking cup stacking, but when it comes down to fucking business, we won the war. Wow. Blue team, what a comeback. All of you, 
are going to enjoy one of the most sought after seafood towers in the country. Yes! That's right. Shortly, you'll be dining at the most exquisite Mastro's Ocean Club in Malibu. Excited? Yes, yes sir. sir. After you've dined, I've invited some very special guests that are going to join you on the beach. You'll find out who they are when you get there. <laughs> Head up to the dorm, get changed, and well done. Chef. Thank you, Thank Chef. chef. Thank oh, you, chef. man. Blue team, two wins in a row, two challenges in a row. I'm so excited. Malibu, yeah? Oh, ladies, while the men are feasting on that incredible tower of seafood, your day's going to be slightly less glamorous. There'll be a shellfish station table side for tonight's big service, and you'll be prepping over 100 pounds of seafood arriving any minute now. After you do that, you'll need to prep both kitchens ahead of tonight's dinner service. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. Off you go. The red team is not cohesive as a unit at this point. We can't get on the same page. We can't get our rhythm. We need to fix that. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. There's two pallets of stuff. We're gonna be doing this for a while. <laughs> I like the green, it's very sleek. Very Malibu of you. Much better. Much better. Yeah, good. My skinny jeans, me a little whore. Ooh. Like that? Oh, shit. All right, I'll start twerking. <laughs> invoice? Check the invoice. We need eight sea asparagus, 10 25 pound bags of ice, 36 East Coast oysters. Okay, here's oysters. Michelle, can you mark those East Coast? Here's Barbie. She's got her clipboard in her hand and she's checking off things. Like, who do you think you are? We don't these, need it. Listen, it's very disorganized. Listen, these boxes everybody, guys, everybody, wait one second, second please. Disorganized, just like dinner service. Can we all get on one page? Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! Hey. <laughs> What's up, girls? Y'all have fun today. Keep getting the hockey, guys. Bye, don't get sick. See you later. Right up top, there's one case of lemons on the thing. Oh, I knew it. Stupid oh, box. While the red team sours on their punishment, the blue team is ready to savor the sweet bounty of the sea. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Damn. Look at that beach. It's pristine. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, yeah. Chef Jockey. Oh! oh. 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 How's it going? How's it going? Good to see you. I couldn't let you sound like on your own. Man, Chef Jockey walk in the building, bro. It's about to be a great time. Good challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's nice. Cheers. I got a shellfish tower, a tuna tartare, crab cakes. Mwah. Just don't throw up, please. <laughs> we can really feel like you on our side. You want us to win. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm not here to massage anyone's egos. And I want you guys to be the best. So when you get rewards like this, it's uh, definitely worth it. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Hey, guys. Hey. Did you enjoy your meal? Oh. OK, so guys, now we're going to go to the beach. We're going to go and play some soccer. Soccer. I mean, it's all running. I don't know if he's looked at us right yet. But I don't think we look like the running type. Let's go. Right, let's, let's go. go. Let's, go. Woo. let's go. So guys, I wanted to introduce you to so some friends of mine, Elisa Nayer and Julie Johnston. 2015 World Cup Soccer Champions, 2016 Woo. Olympians all right. as well. Holy cow. Julie and Alyssa, they're the best in the world. My girls just idolize them. All right, game All right. time. To actually play soccer with them is just a great experience. <laughs> She's like laughing. I was like, this is embarrassing. Oh! oh. <laughs> We're a bunch of chefs that are out of shape. Oh, you're naked. We all don't work out. Hey, the goal's that way, man. We're not used to this shit. You got watch Chalky. Oh! Oh! oh. Bend it like Beckham. <laughs> While Chef Jockey's skills out of the kitchen surprise the blue team, <laughs> Chef Christina is ready with a surprise of her own for the red team. Chef Ramsay has prepared for you a very special lunch. Oh my God, what is that? That's pretty gross. Oh no, oh, oh it stinks. I'm gonna vomit just looking at it. This thing has baby fish and crunchy shells and oh no. It feels like little legs going down. Leftover creme brulee base with fish food in it. Just stop talking. It looks like little noodles. I just need you guys to stop talking about it, okay? I feel like this worms or something. <laughs> just stop talking! Oh my god. At least you didn't try any. I'm just not as adventurous as you. 
Did you guys finish? Yes, chef. Uh -huh. Did everybody have some? Yes, yes. chef. <laughs> you took a bite. Elise, do not lie to Chef Christina. I did. Bullshit. I did. All right, you guys are gonna uh, line up and I'm gonna smell your breath. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Because if, you, if you're lying to me, it's gonna be an issue. Come on. Go. Uh, Come on. <laughs> Sorry, Chef. Chef Christina is not playing. Look at me and tell me you took a bite. While most of the red team has finished off their punishing lunch, Go. one chef's lack of commitment has Christina sniffing for the truth. Look at me and tell me you took a bite. Don't lie I to did. me. I did. I took a bite of the broth. I didn't chew up the fish. A bite of the broth? Yes. You need to take one more bite while I watch. Fine. Everybody else did. Team win, team loss, you know? I'm watching. All right. Thank you. Back in the kitchen. Ugh. Somebody had to sit back down and take another bite of their delicious lunch. That is disgusting. Yay, teamwork. Hello, ladies. <laughs> ah, they got soccer balls. What's up, girls? How was lunch? <laughs> they're on cloud nine. The boys thinking they're hot as shit. Whatever, man, we'll walk away. The men are back in Hell's Kitchen and ready to keep the ball rolling. Let's go, boys. While in the red kitchen. Ashley, yo, you're talking to me, right? Yep. OK. The women are still just trying to come together as a team. Look at these. They're all, they're all at angles. Who cut these scallops today? I did. What happened? I they're not them. even. They're not even. Come here. They're not even. Like, I'm straight up not lying to you. They're not even. Some of these are angles, and it's going to fuck us. Just. That's gonna fuck us. Fucking scallops are even my ass. I think everyone is really getting sick of Barbie shit. She's not taking ownership or responsibility for any of her mistakes. You older than all of us, girl. Grow up. So when it comes down to it, we throw her under the bus. Remember that. Totally. Ladies, line up, please. Let's yes, go. Chef. Line up, Robin. Gentlemen, line up, please. Line up, guys. After 16 seasons, there were many choices running through my head. But there was one quality that I had to have in every single individual coming back, and that is passion. And I know that each and every one of you possess that. You have that in your DNA. And that's what I want you to cook with tonight. Yes, Chef. Passion. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. What I want you to cook with? Passion, passion Chef. I can't hear you. Passion, Chef. Get on your stations, set up for success. Yes, Chef. Let's go. Mourinho. Yes, Chef. Open house kitchen, please. Yes, Let's chef. go. Once again, it's a jam-packed night at Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. And as the dining room quickly fills, orders are already being placed. Can I start with the chocolate carbonara? How are we feeling, guys? Good, Good job, job, Chef. You OK? All right, let's get this. In addition to the regular menu. Presentation is important, so just make it look pretty. Chef Ramsay has added a fresh seafood appetizer to be served tableside by Michelle for the red team and Giovanni for the blue team. All right, order's about to come in, ladies. We got this. First ticket in, first ticket, uh, guys. Wonderful. USA, female soccer team. Table 23, one seafood special, one risotto, two flatbread. Yes, risotto, 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 special. risotto, eight minutes. Give us seven and a half minutes. Seven and a half minutes. The first ticket is for the VIP soccer players, so it's super important that we get the apps out quickly. And they were super talented, and I want to show them that I am, too. Flatbread right now, heads up. Risotto, risotto, chef. How's that? Good. Send it. Let's go. Nobody's doing it alone. Nobody's doing it alone, y'all. Let's go. The blue team's day of bonding seems to have paid off. Risotto. Come on, come on, come on. Run, Risotto. run, run, run. Yes, chef. As season 14 Nick and season 7 Benjamin deliver the first three tickets of appetizers. 22, yes. To rave reviews. How's the risotto? Amazing. Strong start, not fall apart, yes? Yes, chef. Let's go. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. How long are you guys 
on scallops. Walking right now. Dana and Elise are successfully keeping pace with their appetizers. Leave salad, where is it? In my hand, chef. Guys, come on, we got this. Doing great, ladies, keep communicating. Now, Ashley and Barbie attempt to keep the momentum going with the entrees. Entree to lamb to New York Strip. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. So, render that fat down, let's go, yes, please. Chef. Garnish, Gar garnish. Yes. Amanda, Amanda, yes. how long on two strips? Uh, two minutes? Two minutes. Don't forget the roasted garlic. Don't forget yep. the cherry tomatoes. Go right here, babe. All right. Our team is full of very strong women. French fries up. But at the end of the day, if someone else is being more vocal than you, let them lead. Earth to Ashley, what are you doing now? Barbie? Yes, Chef. What is Ashley doing? She's looking at a watch. No, I'm sorry, Chef. Oh, hey, come here. Come here. Hey, you got an appointment with nails? No, she's Hey, like hello. Enough. Hey, take her to the nail bar. Open the door. No. Take her to the bar, get her nails done. No. She's a little bit late for the date. <laughs> Fuck off. This is complete and utter bullshit. Check it off. All right, can I go back now, please? No. Lamb! Lamb is walking right now, chef. Bobby! It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and the red team is off to a strong start. This is really good, huh? Except for... Earth to Ashley! Hey, you got an appointment with nails? No, she hey, hello, not. take her to the bar, get her nails done. No. She's a little bit late for the date. And it's now up to Barbie to pick up the slack on the meat station. How long Lam is Lamb is walking right now, chef. Barbie! Lamb, beautifully cooked. Thank you, Chef. On order, four covers up 33. One salmon, one lamb, one duck, one Wellington. One, one salmon, salmon, one lamb, lamb, one duck, one Wellington. Say it back. One salmon, one lamb, one lamb, one duck, one Wellington. Sing it. Sing it. One salmon, one lamb, one duck, one Wellington. Sing it. One salmon, one lamb, one duck, one Wellington. What's going on with the duck? Salmon, lamb, one duck, one Wellington. What's going on with the duck? Salmon, lamb, duck, Wellington. As the red team tries to stay in tune, over in the blue kitchen, with Millie and Josh manning the meat station and Van cooking fish. I'm ready. The men have moved on to entrees. I don't want a two beef Wellington, Nick, Nick. one salmon. Nick, yes, sir. Josh, what did I just say? I, I was cooking, Chef. I didn't hear you. Oh, you were cooking. Well, thank you for that, really. Wellington's in, please. Yes, Chef. Thank you. If I'm going to be a leader, I got to drive. Well, garnish in two minutes, bro. Right. I got you, Millie. Heard that. I got to be the rock. Where's it, Wellington? Right here, Chef. Come on, on, on. I got to go. I got to go. Let's go. Come on, down. Speed up, Millie. In the middle of the plate. Beautifully cooked, Millie. Thank Beautifully you, Chef. Beautifully cooked, Millie. Salmon. I need a salmon, bro. I know, I know. Can I base the salmon for you, please? I'm good, bro. I got it. It just needs to cook. Salmon, please. All right, we're going. We need them salmon, baby. Shit. I want to work like a team. I don't want to just push you out the fucking way and do it myself, because for real, for real, that's what the fuck I'm going to wind up doing. Salmon, coming right now. Salmon right now. Here we go, chef. Salmon, beautifully cooked. Way to take that extra minute. With strong leadership from both Millie and Van, the blue team continues their solid service. Phenomenal? Yeah. Phenomenal. Both dishes are incredible. While in the red kitchen, Ashley has rejoined her team as they try to keep up with the men. I need you with me, all right? I got it, I got right? it, I got it. Salmon, lamb, duck, wellington, anything? Are you ready with the proteins? I'm ready with the protein, Chef. Oh, my God. And the garnish is not? No, Chef. Manda? Yes, Chef. We're dragging. I understand hey. that, Chef. I am literally watching me die because garnish isn't ready. Can I have the fucking garnish, young lady? Yes, Chef. Can I run the salmon? You got it? Any help? Fennel for the salmon. All right, fennel for the salmon, Chef. Hey, just, just, just touch there. Come here, come here. Just touch the salmon. Touch the salmon. Sorry, Chef. Garnish not ready. All the meat ready. And Manda can't even get her head round two tables at the same fucking time. If it's my fault, I'm going to admit to it. But it's not my fault. It's Manda. You interested, Ashley? Psst. Psst. Watch your nails. Watch your nails. Oh, my God. I don't know what's happening anymore. Blue team. 
Two halibut, two lamb. You walking two halibut? Walking two no. halibut. Lamb garnished on your left. Where's the fucking lamb? Come on, guys. How long do you need? I would say it's about one minute. Come on, we gotta get this up there, Come y'all. Come on, guys. Get the lamb up. Is this hotter? Josh, leave it down, just baste it. Make sure that skin's crispy. I am here to make sure Josh is the master baster. Guys, keep basting. Don't stop. Lamb, do whatever you got to to get that done. Walking lamb. I'm here, that's the boss. Send it. Let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I'm a master baster. I master base the best, baby. With Josh's quick recovery on Lamb. Push, push, push. Come on, let's go. The blue team refuses to slow down. Hustle, guys, let's hustle. While in the red kitchen, the ladies rush to deliver the refire on their duck, beak, salmon, lamb. How long now? Lamb coming in two minutes. How long on the salmon? I can't talk to you right now. I'm talking to chef. Don't interrupt me. Barbie's still the same Barbie from season 10. I haven't dropped my salmon yet. I need to know how long it's lamb. Two minutes. The way she speaks to people and the way she cuts people down, it's disgusting. Barbie, please try to be accurate with your times, please. Please try to learn how to cook fish. Guys. Nice. I need to know when that lamb's walking. How long on lamb? I can walk, run garnish. Run now? garnish, yes. Walking Wellington. For the salmon, guys. Right behind you, chef. Where's the lamb? Lamb. Duck. OK. We can't do bump up times when we're cooking salmon. Oh, fuck me. Hey, just just come here. All of you come here. Out the gate, strong, overcooked up, chewed lamb, shit everywhere, and salmon. When those white bits start coming out of the salmon, what does that mean? Overcooked. Last chance. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I am this far from kicking you all out. Last chance. As the red team teeters on the brink of disaster. Just calm down, please. In the blue kitchen, the men are driving toward the finish. I'm walking to Wellington's. Come on, blue team, let's go. We got this. We got to beat them in service. We're working, right? Please, chef. Let's go, Jared. Two salmon walk into the pass. Salmon, please, good. It's great. Yeah. It's great. It's amazing. It's really good. Walking with garnish. Walking right now. Walking, Welly. Walking, Welly. Walking now with beef and duck. Go, 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 go. John, go. The ladies have finally delivered their refired order. Two lobster Wellington, two halibuts. Two halibuts, two lobster Wellington. Yes. And are attempting to finish strong. How long do you need on halibut? Give me about three more minutes, all right? Three minutes, minutes, three minutes, three minutes. We are going to bounce back. We got this. We got this dinner service right now. Come on. Halibuts. Walking now, chef. Two halibut on the left-hand side. Two lobster Wellington. How long? Coming right now. Coming right now, chef. Lobster Welly's walking. Lobster Welly. Lobster Welly. Excuse me, Blanc. Excuse me. Shut the fuck up. Ugh, he's coming back. Blue team! Yes, chef. We Blue chef. team, get over here. Guys, come on. Come on, guys. Geo, Nick, you stay. Fuck, this is not good. Hey, who cooked the lobster Wellington? Me, chef. It is so overcooked, it's got fucking holes in there. Oh, this is horrible. And then, look, ice cold halibut in the center again. Get the fuck out! Although they started strong, the red team has had a streak of careless mistakes. Ice cold halibut in the center again. And Chef Ramsey has had enough. Get the fuck out! Blue team, take over! We yes, chef. chef! Van, two halibut, please. Two halibut, uh, Josh, right do you now. want me? Again! What happened? The fact that we couldn't finish two dinner services in a row is just terrible. It seems like we're almost taking a step back at this point. It is worse than last night. I asked you for passion. I asked for dedication. I asked to get in the game. And you can't even switch it on. Do me a favor. Get upstairs and come back with two names. Now, fuck off, will you? Disgusting. You and me, we're done. You don't put, you don't knock down your team members. You don't I say, didn't knock you yeah, down. she said, oh, maybe she knows how to cook hey, fish. Yo, you don't do this. that. Barbie sandbag the whole team today. And that makes you a pathetic individual. Barbie, this time I'm serious, we're done. I don't understand what that means. While the women try to understand each other, 
How long, Millie? I'm ready. The blue team is quickly delivering food from both kitchens to the diners. Garnish walking. Duck walking. On your right, chef. Garnish, duck. Beautifully cooked, Millie. And with the final plates landing at the tables. I think you had the duck. You have the duck? The men have given Chef Ramsay their second all-star dinner service in a row. It's amazing. It's like butter. So oh. good. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. We're literally giving it to them. Like, giving it to them. We got out the gates so strong. And then, bam! The bottom line is communication has to get better or we're going to go home one by fucking Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Let's talk about service and let's start voting. I'm going to go with Robin and Amanda. Robin, Amanda. OK, so garnish. I went over and garnish was flustered. She don't know what to ask for. Garnish was dragging. Dragon. And, Garnish and was so not dragging until all of those tickets came back. Not one of my things came back. I think Barbie is to blame for dinner service. Every single protein came back tonight. My vote is actually for meat. Ashley and Barbie? Yes. That set us off. I'm going with meat. I did look over. Barbie looked like she was really, really busy. And no offense to you, Ashley, but you seem like you had idle time. No, I was that, running her that, meats back and forth. We did everything yeah, together. Uh -huh. These bitches try to put me up there. I'm gonna be pissed. I did nothing wrong, man. What was the point of no return, though? Like, when the was it like was not, not, the halibut was not being When was sold. it like we're not recovering at all? That was meat and fish. Every Sugar. protein came back. The problem is this: like the arguing on the line Pass. is to yes. stop. That is disgusting. not the answer. What was the argument over? It's because it is sad, and she says, you, "Maybe you should learn how to cook fish." Barbie, yes. please try to be accurate with your times, please. Please try to learn how to cook fish. It was uncalled for for you to said that. There's no reason for me to be going up for elimination. Robin could not handle her station. Learn to cook fish. I can't do it for you. Like, why are you putting down your team like that? Barbie, can you agree to stop taking jabs and can you agree to brush it off? I deserve an apology. I apologize. That you can't cook fish. Robin, sit down. I'm going over here because you're crazy with those eyes again. Go sing like a bitch like you did last time, girl. What, what the fuck? After a second consecutive dinner service win for the blue team, the red team was once again forced to nominate two chefs for elimination. Ladies, two dinner services and two challenges. You are zero for four. Hold on a minute. You did actually win a cup stacking challenge. Big fucking deal. Give them a round of applause. Barbie, red team's first nominee and why? The red team's first nominee tonight was Robin because she could not handle fish. Red team's second nominee? The red team's second nominee is me, chef. Why? Dana? I heard her fighting with other people in the kitchen, which isn't helpful communication during dinner service. What's missing, ladies? There's no team effort, chef. Everybody's acting as individuals. The whole morale in the kitchen, chef, if we're, we're, we're a team, we should, instead of beating each other down, we should pick each other up. And that wasn't the case. Anybody else receive votes? Ashley, chef. And why Ashley? The team felt Ashley didn't do enough. Anybody else receive votes? I got one or two. Wow. Robin, Barbie, Ashley, Amanda, step forward. Yeah, we are spoiled for choice. Barbie, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I'm focused, I'm driven, and I'm communicating. I want this. What is it that they've got against you? What's happening? And I think that there's a whole lot of mouths running and not enough ears listening. Robin, you were responsible for 90% <laughs> of the problems on the fish station. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Even though I was messing up, I was still communicating with Garnish. I was trying to communicate with Barbie, but one team member who knocks down the morale, it's kind of hard. I was trying to communicate about the food and about getting the food out and serving the guests. This is your kitchen, and I want to disrespect you. Amanda, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I started off the night so organized, and I had to refire things six times. Everything that I sent up was good, but died. Ashley, you left the service this evening to sit at the bar. How was it, by the way? It was horrible, Sean. I've never seen anyone stare at the watch for as long as you did. 
I was just trying to make sure that everything was timed properly in my head, and I was just trying to make sure that the, the duck and the lamb was not going to overcook. You haven't even broken sweat. You seem to finish service better looking than you were before we started. <sighs> I, it will never happen again. I am better than this, and I'm stronger than this. This is not who I am. So why so many failures in the red team tonight? It's communication. I feel like it, it was just miscommunication all across the board. My decision is... Harvey. Get back in line. Yes, Chef. Ashley. Take off your jacket, young lady. Leave Hell's Kitchen, and here's why. This evening, I saw no fights. You were disconnected. You looked lost from the beginning of service to the end of service. OK. Good night. Bye, Ashley. Bye, Ashley. Bye, Ashley. Bye, Ashley. I am not happy with the fact that I'm leaving this early. Barbie's running on a thin line, her and Robin both. They need to check their egos at the door. I can't help it that they're shady bitches. This is Hell's Kitchen. It is literally hell. Hell on Earth. Robin, Amanda, back in line. Thank you, Chef. Ladies, when are you going to win something? Tomorrow, Chef. Sort it out. Now get out of there. I feel like it's fucking deja vu all over again. Squawk, 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 Barbie. All you do is squawk like a fucking hen. Squawk. What are you waiting for, a fucking hot chocolate? Let's Fuck go. off. Ashley's a strong fucking cook. It was supposed to be like season 15. Me and Ash in the black jackets. If the red team were better cooks, they would just support each other and not throw each other under the bus. I got that fucking bitch with a fucking target on her back. It was inevitable. There is a target on my back. I've been here before. They've done this before. I've survived it before. And I'll survive it again. I actually spent more time staring at her watch than paying attention to her station. And so, her time here in Hell's Kitchen is done. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. How are my Nubian princesses doing out here tonight? Barbie is sexy. Will innocent flirting. Don't make me go put on my swimsuit van. You know you ain't going to be able to handle it. Cross the line into something more. He's always hot. Like, he's hot bloody. Chicks love cuddling with me. You know what's going on in my head? Van. And could his southern charm. You know you like some white chocolate, Barbie. Be just a ploy to get ahead. I got this in the bag. I can charm the fangs off a rattlesnake. And maybe throw Barbie completely off her game. I asked you five times, Barbie. Bobby! Uh, are we walking to duck? No, wait a minute. What do you mean, wait? And end up sinking the entire red kitchen. Are you slowing down for the Barbie? Yes, chef. Find out next time on a scorchingly hot episode. Oh, shit. Of Hell's Kitchen.